Hi there, and thank you for viewing our video. This video aims to explain how the Shimmer Tree EMG unit can be used to acquire surface EMG using the Shimmer platform. The Shimmer Tree EMG sensor is recognized as one of the leading tools in the research and commercial industry for wearable wireless sensing of EMG signals. The sensor has been used extensively in hundreds of research applications and commercial use in areas such as gait analysis, rehabilitation feedback, sports biomechanics, robotics and many more. Firstly, let's introduce the hardware required to collect data. Beginning with the sensor. As you can see, the Shimmer Tree EMG sensor is quite lightweight, weighing just 31 grams with dimensions of 65mm by 32 by 12. Each Shimmer sensor comes with a wrist strap and waist strap for placement on the body depending on your specific application. The EMG sensor can be used to measure two channels of EMG simultaneously. As you can see, the unit has five ports. Two ports for each channel and one port, the middle port, for the reference electrode. With our system, the unit is typically placed on the body location of choice. With biophysical leads connecting the unit to the EMG gel electrodes that are placed at the measurement site. Also worth mentioning is that the EMG sensor has the full 9DOF inertial sensing capability of our standard Shimmer Tree IMU motion sensor. All these signals can be measured simultaneously to allow for greater context to be given to the user's activity. The next item of hardware you require is a base or a dock. For today's example you can see our consensus base 15, which enables the multi-management of 15 shimmer units at once. We also have a single dock and a base 6 when working with smaller quantities of sensors. The base connects directly to your PC or laptop via USB port. The consensus base in conjunction with our consensus software application allows users to configure multiple units at once. That includes setting the sampling rate, enabling and disabling what sensing signals you want to measure, and setting the appropriate firmware you require for your data collection. The base also allows for simultaneous charging of multiple units and retrieving log data. We are now going to focus our attention on our consensus software application. For the purposes of this exercise, I'm using the Consensus Pro version of this software. When you start the application, you are presented with three core tabs. Manage Devices, Live Data and Manage Data. I'll explain the function of each tab in this video. The first tab is Manage Devices. This tab is essential for when you're starting your trial as it allows you to perform a number of functions including programming the firmware, configuring the devices and importing the data from the device's SD card. All these functions should be considered before you start collecting data. Today we're going to collect both logged and live data from the Shimmer Tree EMG device. The Shimmer Tree EMG has an inbuilt SD card for collecting data and also has Bluetooth capability for streaming data live. The first step in the data collection process is to ensure the firmware is set correctly. I select the unit I want to collect data from and then click the firmware here and the firmware I want to use today is login stream so I simply select this and then write to the unit. Next we must configure this unit. First thing I want to do is set a unique trial name. Following this I want to consider what logging method to use. With the undock dock method, when I undock the shimmer from the consensus base, it will automatically start logging data to the inbuilt SD card on the unit. With the user button option, the orange user button on the shimmer acts as a start and stop button. For the purposes of this, I'm going to use the undock method. Next, I need to decide what signals I want enabled for my trial. This is done by highlighting on a particular signal. If it's greyed out, it's not enabled. If it's highlighted, it is enabled. The range can also be set on these signals. For the purpose of this trial, I'm going to use wide range accelerometer, gyroscope and EMG. The sampling rate can also be set at this point. The sampling rate can be set from a minimum of 1 Hz to a maximum of 2048 Hz. For the purpose of this video, let's set the sampling rate at 500 Hz. This is done by inputting into the box and pressing enter. We can also add algorithms to this trial if we so wish. The final tab to consider is our calibration settings. At this point, if I'm happy with the sen sensing signals I've enabled, and the various other settings, I can write these settings to the shimmer by pressing right config down here. 
So my unit is now ready to start collecting data. Firstly, I'm going to undock the unit from the consensus base. It is now logging data to the inbuilt SD card. This is verified by the intermittent flashing green LED on the unit. The LEDs on the shimmer units indicate what communication state they are in. The other option, which was the user button, if I had selected that, by pressing the unit on and off with the orange button here, would log to the SD card or not. For this video, we'll keep it relatively straightforward and measure two channels of EMG from my arm. One channel from my bicep, and the other from my breaker radialis muscle, with a reference electrode connected to the bony part of my arm, such as the wrist. I'll demonstrate this now. So as you can now see, the leads and electrodes are con connected to the shimmer unit. It's also recommended to wipe down the measurement site with an electrode or with an alcohol swab or before attaching the electrode to ensure the best skin connection. Next, I'm going to introduce you to the live data tab on our consensus software. This, as you might have guessed, is where live data can be visualized. First thing you'll need to do is ensure the devices you want to stream data from are paired with your PC or laptop and visible in consensus. Following this, we select the device we want to stream from, connect the Bluetooth, and once the Bluetooth connection is established, we can begin streaming signals from this device. As we discussed, these units are currently logging data. To record live data locally to the PC, I simply select the units and press record down below, as so. There are a number of different options for plotting the signals. We can have all signals on one plot, or we can have different signals on different plots as we wish. The plot settings can also be configured to your needs such as changing the X and Y access scale range. Let's have a closer look at the data visualization. Channel 1 is a bicep muscle. I'll now perform some bicep exercises. While channel 2 is the breaker radialis muscle, I'll flex this now. Another option when recording live data is to add event markers to highlight moments of interest. You can add the event marker here. There are two types of event markers. The pulse adds a single marker to the data, while toggle sets the event marker over a period that is defined by the user pressing, starting and stopping toggle event marker. I'll show a couple of examples here. The pulse is a single marker as you can see, while the, while the toggle is defined by start stop. These event markers are time correlated with the data you're currently recording. So I've now completed collecting data for this demo. The next step is to retrieve the data. Firstly, the live stream data is automatically saved onto the local database. I can see this in Manage Data under the trial name I said earlier, EMG. We can see here the transmission rate was very high, with little to none drop packets. The next step is to import the log data from the unit's SD card. I'll now place the units back in the consensus base. I'll select the unit in question and select the import button. This process is pretty straightforward and intuitive. The software starts by reading the unit SD card and then presents you with the data available to import.
On completion, you will see the data is now in the Manage Data tab. So for the trial EMG, I have two data sets. One, as we mentioned, with the live PC recording, and the other with the data from the SD card. The final step is to export the data if we wish to process further in advanced data manipulation programs such as MATLAB for example. We select the trial or trials we want to export. The raw data can be exported in a number of different data and time formats to the user's preference. Also at this point, filters and algorithms can be applied to the data if appropriate. Finally, we can see the data has been exported and is available in a local folder on your PC. So that concludes our demonstration video on collecting EMG data with the Shimmer Tree EMG sensor and the Consensus software platform. We hope you found this video beneficial. If you have any questions about the EMG sensor or the data collection process with Shimmer, please email us at info at We look forward to hearing from you.